My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day, February 23rd, it is a great pleasure to meet you all at home early in the morning through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. Take with me from the book of John 14:14. 14, 14, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. My dear brothers and sisters, God is responsible for providing his children with whatever they ask for. He will ask what is necessary for him. He will not ask for something that he does not need. Note it carefully. If a boy is going to school, and if he is studying, then what does he need? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, a good memory, and fees for studying. He needs books to study, and these are the things he requires. He does not need hay. Only the cows and goats need hay. The cow and goat cannot ask for books. They need grass to feed on, husks, and hay. But for a boy who studies, what he needs is different. That's all. Why has God said that he will give all that you ask for in his name? Because only what he needs will he ask for. There is no need for him to ask what is not necessary for him. The engineer in the media will not ask for a speaker that is taken on roadways. It is necessary in the village and countryside for people to hear some announcements. The old speaker. But the media engineer can ask for a small speaker to hear and edit his program. He will not ask for a loudspeaker. For this, he can ask the Lord. He is not going to ask for the big loudspeaker. That is not necessary for him. Only sound servicemen will ask for it. The reason I am differentiating and saying this is because God will give you what you ask for. Especially what he requires in particular. He will ask for what his children are in need of. God says that he will surely provide what you ask for. God says, whatever you ask in my name, I will give. Many do not have the desire to ask, demand, or pray for anything from God. They expect someone else to ask for them. Someone else should pray for them. But you need to pray for what you are in need of. This is what God expects you to do. That is why he says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. You should work hard and then ask the Lord for blessings. Just because the Lord has said, I will give you anything you ask in my name. Dear Lord, we thank you. Lord, you have said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Lord, today, whatever thing your children are asking for and whatever need they are praying for earnestly, with much burden, in that thing, I pray that you will grant them their request and gladden their hearts. Lord, encourage them. Give them their request and take hold of them. Honor them, increase them, or exalt them, make them sit in high places and admire them. May they be blessed with a good life partner. Break all marriage barriers. As they ask, reunite all broken families. As they ask, bless them with the fruit of their womb. As they had asked for promotion or a transfer in their job, the Lord granted them their request. Lord, grant them permanent visas to the place they desire to go. As they have requested, the Lord should remove all the disease from their bodies and grant them divine healing and strength. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a tremendous pleasure to meet you all at your homes early this morning on this auspicious day, February 23rd, through this communication. God bless you. I want you to remember John 14:14, 14, 14, which says, If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. God, my dear brothers and sisters, is the one who gives his children all they ask for. He'll inquire as to what he needs. He won't make requests for things he doesn't require. Take close note of it. In the event that a boy attends school and studies, then what is it that he needs? These are the things he needs in order to study, books, wisdom, knowledge, insight, and a strong memory. Hay is not needed by him. Hay is only needed by the goats and cows. You cannot give books to a goat or a cow. They require husks, hay, and grass to eat. However, 
A boy who learns requires something else. That's it. Why does God promise to grant your every request made in his name? Since he will only ask for what he needs, he doesn't need to inquire about things that are unnecessary for him. A speaker that is shot on a road will not be requested by the media engineer. It's essential. For individuals to hear various announcements throughout the town and surrounding areas. The elderly orator. However, the media engineer has the option to request a little speaker so that it may hear and alter his show. He's not going to request a loudspeaker. He can beg the Lord for this. He won't request the large speakers. For him, that is not necessary. Only honest military personnel will request it. I am making a distinction and saying this because God will grant your requests. Especially what is specifically needed by him. He'll inquire about what his kids require. God promises to grant your requests without fail. I will give you whatever you ask for in my name, declares God. Numerous people have no desire to pray, seek, or demand anything from God. They anticipate being asked for by someone else. They should be prayed for by someone else. However, you must pray for the things you require. God is expecting you to act in this way. He says, I will do anything you ask in my name, for this reason. You should petition the Lord for blessings after putting in a lot of work. For the mere reason that the Lord has promised to grant any request made in his name. We are grateful to you, Lord. Lord, you have promised to fulfill any request made in my name. Lord, grant your children's requests and needs for the day, whatever they may be. Praying fervently and heavily for that, I ask that you fulfill their wish and lighten their hearts. Lord, give them courage. Accept their request and take them into your arms. Respect them, make them greater, or elevate them. Put them in positions of honor, and watch them. May they be fortunate to find a fulfilling life partner. Break down every barrier to marriage. Reunite all fractured families, as they request. Give them the fruit of their wombs, as they ask. The Lord accepted their requests since they had requested a work move or promotion. Lord, please provide them with permanent visas to the destination of their choice. The Lord ought to take out every illness from their bodies as they have begged, and give them strength and divine health. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.